All right, so in this video, I'm going to do a Google Classroom practice set with some math problems. So Mitch Albright was nice enough to send me some algebra questions. So we're going to do that. And he sent me a PDF because I know that you can add a PDF to your um, practice set. So I wanted to see how, how that works. So I am in classroom.google.com. I'm in my main classroom where I can see all of the cards. You'll notice right here, there's practice sets. Also, if you go to the hamburger menu, there are practice sets. And you can also get to them when you create an assignment. Um, Lori Johnson actually shared a genetic engineering practice set with me. So that's really cool how you can share them with your team. And then I just made a copy of it and I changed it a little bit. And, um, and now I can use it with my class. So um, it's very nice to have all of your practice sets right here. So I'm gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna call this multi-step equations. And then I'm going to import, because I have a PDF with the questions. And I'm gonna upload. So I, there is uh, an option to grab something from my drive, but you'll notice that um, it's just PDFs. So just keep that in mind. But if you have a Google document, like here is my uh, syllabus for the class I teach. So you can download any Word, or I'm sorry, any, um, well, Word document too. You can download any Google Doc or Word document as a PDF. Um, and then you can bring it into the practice sets. Okay, I always get distracted. <laughs> but I wanna upload this from my computer. So there it is, and it's gonna bring it in. So right here it tells me select each problem that you want to import. So I can just grab, I'm gonna grab the equation just like that. I'm going to move this over a little bit. I don't want to get the one in there. And then notice I can grab this other one. Grab this one. Oops, I want to move that over. All right, now I'm going to continue to grab all of these questions. All right, so that looks pretty good. So I have eight, it says there are eight selected and I'm going to import those questions. Okay, so this one is blank. So I'm actually gonna go in here and delete that question. And then I need to enter the correct answer is just two. So I don't, I don't really need to do the equation um, toolbar, but, but I just wanted to click it. All right, the answer to number two is negative three, so I'm just gonna use my keyboard actually. Okay, so I've got my questions, I've got my answer, it's a short answer, and it is an auto grade one, so that's good. The other auto grade options are single select, which is like our multiple choice, which you think of where they select one answer, or multiple select, which is they would have a bunch of check boxes and then they would have to select multiple answers, but that is also an auto grade. Um, now, skills. This is the best part of practice sets is that you can select the skill that you're working on and then Google AI, <laughs> it's everywhere, will select helping videos or charts or something that will help the student if they get the wrong answer. So remember, this is practice sets. This isn't final test. This isn't exam sets. These are practice sets. So I'm gonna go in here to see suggested. I'm curious because you know I just added that little picture. So let's see. Look at that, solve basic algebraic equa equation. So I'm gonna click that. And now down here, let's see suggested, solve equations with variables on both sides. I don't really know, cause it doesn't really have variables on both sides. 
but I'm going to trust the AI and just go with what it suggests. Oh, okay. So now we have solve equations with variables on both sides. Solve for the unknown variable. Solve multi-step linear equation. I'm going to do multi-step. Um, let's see suggestions here. Solve linear equations. Okay, I'm going to say yes. All right, I'm going to pick skills for all the rest of them. So I've got questions, I've got skills. I'm pretty amazed that it could, even though the answers are negative eight, five, you know, there's nothing that even has an X or a Y in the answer, it saw that these were um, algebra equations, even though it was cut and pasted from a PDF. So pretty cool. All right, now I'm going to go in as a student, try as a student. All right, now you can see this bar right here at the top. You need to dismiss it. If you don't dismiss it, you won't see this wonderful extra help um, options that the students have. So I'm gonna go in here. Now, if I was assigning this, I would say you need to show your work and the students can do that. So they can go in. Now, granted, they have to use their mouse or the trackpad, um, but they could go, so right here, it's got the, the pencil. That's the eraser, here's the pencil, scribbled. So I don't know what, oh, so that's if they were using the keyboard. But I'm just gonna do, so my first thing would be, I'm gonna do 10. Here, can I just, can I do that? recognize my writing that the two was correct now let's go down here and i'm going to show my work and um let's say i just put three and i do all my work and i check i was going to say try again but then look this starts beeping so let's see what it shows me now this is not a video but this walks through how to do a similar type of a question. It's telling me move all, move all terms with a variable to one side. Well, that doesn't really apply to this one. So now it shows me a video, but the skill that I matched when I was creating this, the skill I matched was variables on each side. Live and learn that doesn't match this question. So just think about that when you're creating it. And you don't have to match a skill with every single question. If there's one that you just can't find one that matches, then you just leave that one blank. They can still check their answer. They can still try again. All right, so let me go down here to the bottom of our practice sets. Now here is one where it does have the variables on both sides. I'm gonna put in one. <clears throat> I'm going to check it and it's wrong so I'm going to click and let's see what um, there we go so here is I can move this so see how it came and it was down there I can move this and move all terms with a variable to one side combine like terms and then so I'm like oh I get it so I'm going to try it again and I'm just gonna all right so I'm going to say negative one I'm going to check course I showed my work and I got it correct so very helpful also up here is this extra help and this will bring up a whole slew of practice options videos um, graphics it looks like the the um, the graphics are up here first and then um, and then at the bottom are uh, videos. So great, great option, especially right before exams. So here is my multi-step equation practice set. Pretty happy with it. I'm gonna click edit just to make sure. Yep, okay, so my answers are in there. I'm gonna click done edit. 
I could share it with my teachers. So the copy link, the default is you'll come in and see that the link sharing is off. I'm gonna turn that on, copy the link. I could email it to my fellow math teachers, or what I could do is drop it into a Google Doc or a Google Sheet where I've got the link to the practice set and, and, and an explanation of what is covered in the practice set, and maybe you could have that collaborative document where you guys are creating practice sets dropping those links in and then it's automatically yours you can edit it you can add more um, questions if you would like i'm going to open this up one more time because i just thought of something so with this i'm going to go into edit notice the little gear icon you can allow for equivalent answers so with this example we didn't have any fractions as uh as an answer but if you did you could allow for equivalent answers, and that means that um, decimal values and um, fractions that are equal will be marked as correct. And you can click this little learn more if you would like to learn more about that. If you're familiar with Google Forms, this should look pretty, um, pretty similar to Google Forms. You've got this little plus sign here where you can um, insert a, a text to give them some some extra instructions so this would be like where you want to indicate that you want them to show their work and you could also say that you just want the answer you don't want p equal so however you would want to word that and then also in the skinny snowman is delete duplicate right over here the plus would be new question import that's where you get that option to import um, a pdf all right, so now I'm done editing and I want to um, assign it in my classroom. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go to my sample class. Go up here to classwork. I'm gonna create an assignment. And then notice down here we have practice sets and that's new. So I'm gonna go in, grab that multi-step equation practice set. I'm gonna click attach. I have one more chance to take a peek at it and um, and edit it if I want to. I could go in one more time and, and try it as a student. I can even share it. But right now, we're going to attach it. Now it's attached as a practice set. You can put your instructions here. Um, give it a due date. Add it to any classes that you want. Um, put it under a topic. So I'm gonna put assignment examples and then click schedule. So the schedule send is very nice that you can pick multiple classes. Um, and that is how you send it out. There's also insights that you will get when students turn it in. And um, I have some insights um, from another video that I'm gonna splice in here. <laughs> and it shows insights from a, um, from a geology practice set that I made. So it's not math, but it'll give you an idea. Okay, so Gabby's done doing her assignment. The really cool thing is they have insights. So let me show you what that looks like. Cause you're like probably thinking, well, the student can do it umpteen bazillion times, you know, and always get the right answer, but you'll be able to see how many times that student actually worked on that problem. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm the teacher. Um, oh, there it is, Ge geology review. Um, let's review work. I could have also got to this from the grading tab. I don't know why I didn't do that. So if you notice right here, you've got insights. So let me click on that. So there's no insights for this assignment. Um, let me show you what it would look like if we had a whole bunch of kids. Let me, I'm bringing over, um, this presentation here. So this what it what it would look like if you had multiple students doing this. And um, so the insights, it shows a holistic view of class performance to provide an overview of the class strengths and areas of need. So you can see many students got number one and number three incorrect. So that would inform your teaching. And then you can also see the number of attempts will be uh, indicated in the circle. So the number of attempts are right there. So if we click on Helen St. Clair, 
you can see that she did um, one attempt, a number of problems she got incorrect, number that she got correct, and this displays the number of attempts that the student um, took. So here is Gabby. So we can see if I click on Gabby, um, it shows for this one, she got it correct right off the bat. And um, I can go back to problem two and I can see um, that she had one attempt and the first time she attempted, she thought that it was sedimentary and then she got it correct. Yeah, it's really cool. And right here, now I get to that grading part. So I just clicked on her name and it popped up the grading part right there. I could give her um, her grade. I can add a comment. I can also add um, comments here from my comment bank if I would want to. Um, and then I can return it to Gabby. All right, so I hope this helps you get started with practice sets. Um, this video is a little rough, but I wanted to, to get it out to you um, as soon as I can. So, all right, have a great day.